In this segment of the Southern Cross House Zone, we're going to be going through some specific training tips which I think you will find useful. And I've been joined here today by some helpers and together we're going to show you some specific skills that can help you be the best netballer that you can be. The first thing you should do before any exercise is warm up. Take a short jog and then stretch using a wall or post before you start any exercise to minimise the risk of getting any injuries. It is important to master your footwork because of the size of the court so that you can get away from or defend your opponent. One drill you can try is to have your friends stand in one spot and practice moving in and around that person, moving your feet around them as quickly as possible. You can add to this drill by having a third person pass the ball to you as you are moving around that person standing still. If there are only two of you, you can do the same thing by using a chair to move around. Another great training drill you can do is to set out a series of cones to practice dodging and weaving. This helps you understand which foot to push off and how to generate speed with short, sharp movements. Passing a netball can be done a number of ways and with my helpers, I'm going to show you the Kiwi trademark two-handed pass. To practice a two-handed pass, you and your friend or a family member stand about two metres apart. You're going to pass them the ball, making sure you step into the pass, putting your body behind the ball. You can vary the position of the pass and flight of the ball, preparing you for all situations you could encounter in a game. If you don't have a helper, you can always use a wall to practice the same skills. Mix up the way you pass the ball as you won't always receive the ball where or how you want it. Like anything, if you want to get better, it's all about practice. Practice does make perfect. Well, that's the plan anyway. Warming down is as important, if not more important, than warming up. It gives your body a chance to relax from being really active. I recommend going for a light jog straight after you play or train, then do some stretching. So now that you have some key skills to help improve your training, just remember to adjust your training according to your strength and fitness levels.